killed at least 14 people outside a party office of an independent candidate. The second, about 150 kilometres away, left 10 dead. It detonated close to a building belonging to a religious party. No one's claimed responsibility. Inflation is around 30 percent, so people are desperately waiting for the elections to happen, uh, especially provinces that neighbour Afghanistan uh, is jailed. Former Prime Minister is behind bars uh, uh, facing corruption charges, uh, uh, despite the fact that their uh, candidates of Pakistan Tehreek and Saaf Khan's party uh, are contesting in these elections as independent candidates. So they are urging the uh, supporters and vote bank of Khan's party to come out in huge numbers and show their support and loyalty to Khan. Um, also, he has urged the supporters to come and stand outside the uh, polling stations to stop rigging. There's a clear the upcoming polls uh, as he was convicted also in corruption charges and returned to the country last year after self-imposed exile. Uh, people think he will be the prime minister for the fourth time and uh, his supporters are hopeful that he can turn around the economy of the teas in the country. And last year, we all last year also and last week also, we witnessed a, a resurgence in terror activities. And as of today, two plus are uh, reported in Balochistan uh, province that neighbors Afghanistan um, and also the interim caretaker setup has promised uh, that they will ensure uh, the security counter proposal to the offer given by Qatari and Egyptian mediators. The militant group would first free its hostages in exchange for one and a half thousand Palestinian prisoners. Then the rebuild of Gaza would begin with all Israeli troops leaving the strip both sides to finally swap bodies and remains. The US Secretary of State to discuss the proposals with Benjamin Netanyahu overnight.